your talent uh you just obviously sang great and you played great but we need to hear some of your classical stuff because not many people can do that so go ahead show us something <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome to another episode of the Law Sessions where we have Katarina Supanetsky. Did I say that right? Perfect. And you're from Moldova? Yes, Moldova. And you were just saying, uh, Moldova, and you were saying that uh, also uh, you have a Romanian influence? Yes, and I speak uh, uh, Russian and Romanian. Now, Romanian is, is similar to Italian, right? Very similar. It's, uh, so do you understand? Words. you understand when someone speaks Italian? Many words. Many oh. words are similar. How did you get started? In it? First off, you're an amazing pianist, amazing singer. You get so much talent. Um, you. you tell me, sure, you went to Juilliard. Uh, yes, I studied at the Juilliard School, Manhattan School of Music, and the Curtis Institute of Music. Curtis, I, I, I think I told you the story. I tried out for Curtis years ago, and uh, you know, I was sort of classically trained, and uh, I did my recital or whatever it's called in front of all the people scribbling on their pages, and then this little Asian girl, maybe four years old, came in. And, <laughs> And played, and I knew that uh, I'd better go into the pop part of this business and stick stick to where I think I could do uh, better. How did you uh, end up in the states? Because uh, for Juilliard, wow, that's like a. Uh, no, actually, uh, my my parents and I moved here when I was fourteen. My mother won a green card in the lottery, so that's how we immigrated. Did they uh, push you to go to Juilliard? I mean, that's like a big accomplishment. And Curtis. Did... Well, uh, so I, I started. Uh, studying music at a very young age, uh, playing piano since I was about four or five, and I went to a specialized music school back in Moldova. I had really good teachers there, so um, like music has been part of me my whole life. And um, moving here, I had some incredible teachers as well, and um, I, I was classically trained. Uh, then I, I got into the jazz band in my high school. That's what, what got, me introduced me, uh, got me introduced to jazz. Um, and then I've been composing since I was about seven or eight years old. And, then and your website is? katsupanetsky.com. Spell that for the... Uh, okay. K-A-T-S-O-U-P-O-N-E-T-S-K-Y. Now the song that we played, did you you said soup in it too, didn't you? Something, there was one line in there. Yes, yes. A, a cook, uh, I, I, I want to Cook a soup for you. Yes. So just uh, all all together. It's, all, uh, all together, yeah. <laughs> no so soup for you. <laughs> what, what I find really interesting about you, my experience with classical players is they know classics and that's where they stop. But you're so rounded. I mean, you play jazz as a jazz musician would play it. So to have both sides of that, can you relate to other people in the classical industry that uh, that just stay in their box when you seem to have broken down all of that? Thanks. Well, um. Well, each person has their strengths and preferences. Uh, I've always gravitated towards jazz and pop and um, like electronic music. So uh, it was. It, I really wanted to um, to learn how to do that, and and I actually enjoyed most. And my original music combines the classical and the jazz influence, so that's what I mostly uh, focus on. For me, to so, for someone to be completely rounded, they have to know all of this stuff like if you just play one style of music you're missing out on other ways to express yourself so if someone just takes that one genre and that's all they could express themselves to me it's like not exploring your full potential or personality so uh, I just couldn't imagine being like a classical pianist who could play anything but that might not be able to improvise on a song because that's there's so much more creativity in there as well Right? Yeah, I think improvisation is a, is a special talent and skill as well. Um, not everyone can, uh, can can do it. So I find it funny here, you live around the corner and we never uh, knew it. And we met through Mikey D of 30 Main. Best food on the main line, 30 Main. The best. And um, so, wow, what are you doing? Like, or do you have, you should be gigging everywhere. You're a teacher, right? Yes, I teach uh, piano lessons. Um, well, yes, I'm looking to, to gig, to play, anything. You just played a concert at 30 Main. They brought a, a, a grand piano I in, did. right? I did. And two it was shows. packed? It was packed the first time, and the second time was a little more laid back, but both times Are it they was an incredible experience. Are they planning on another time? I hope. Now, if I remember correctly, you just played piano. That's you, right. But you have such a lovely voice. I have to insist. Next time you play, you got to sing. You you can't hide that voice. I mean, you have an amazing voice. So I really appreciate that. Um, I will do that. 
Fantastic. Well, I'm so happy to have you here. Give me a high five. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Carmen. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.